Hey there, homemakers. I know Christmas is now over, but I want to talk about one more gift that you can give yourself all year long. Today, I'm inviting you into my kitchen to share a simple yet powerful nightly routine that has become my secret to a more blissful life. Trust me, it's a gift you'll want to give yourself all year round. So grab your favorite relaxing beverage and let's dive into the joy of closing down our kitchens every night. All right, let's kick things off by clearing and cleaning the countertops starting with a quick tidy session. It's as simple as returning everything to its home and giving those counters a clean slate. If you're new here, I'm Andrea, and here on Home and Family Management, the YouTube channel, I share the systems, habits, routines, tips, and tactics that I have found to help me run my home more simply and efficiently as a stay-at-home mom. I nicknamed our kitchen dining room area the hub because it is the central point of our home. And if the hub is clear, clean, tidy, and ready to go, then my mind is more at ease. I feel less stressed and I can stay on top of our day much easier. So by getting in the habit of closing down my kitchen or the hub every night, I am ensuring the best start to each tomorrow. On this particular day, we had cousins over for gingerbread house making. So this table was extra dirty and had icing stuck on it. Now, I do want to note that just because you are the manager of the house as a stay at home mom, that does not mean you have to do all the work yourself. And the more you have a system set in place for all of the tedious to do's, the easier it is to delegate and for everyone in the home to be on the same page with what needs to be done. Now that the table and the countertops are cleared, I am just using my Young Living Thieves all-purpose cleaner to spray them down and wipe them clean. There are so many things that you are gifting yourself by closing down your kitchen every night. The benefits are numerous. Less stress, a more efficient morning, a more peaceful sleep, setting a positive example, higher self-confidence, enhanced productivity, better health and hygiene. These are all just some of those benefits. Now, in order to reap these benefits, you have to get yourself to actually do the work, which I know is sometimes, well, a lot of the time, the last thing you want to do after a long day of homemaking and taking care of children. The only way I have found to make the work easier is to make it a habit. The more something is habitual in your life, the more you do it on autopilot, which means it takes less of your time and energy. Like, have you ever found yourself driving to a familiar destination and when you arrive, you realize, wow, I barely remember the drive here? That's the power of habit. When something becomes a routine, like driving a familiar route, it requires minimal mental effort. If you turn the nightly kitchen shutdown into a regular habit, you'll soon find yourself finishing the task almost effortlessly thinking, did I just do that? Oh.
Did you know we have a weekly newsletter? If you are liking these tips and you want more motivation delivered straight to your inbox every Sunday night to get you ready for the week ahead, then join our weekly emailed homemaking motivation community using the link in the description box below. Now that the dining room table is complete, I am using a Swedish dish cloth, which is just like a reusable paper towel to wipe down the kitchen island before spraying it and um, drying it. I did not use the Swedish dish cloth on the dining room table because again, it just had so much stuck on icing that I did not want to put that much icing through my washing machine with my other towels. In my approach to homemaking, I really do strive to keep things low, toxic, and minimize waste. However, I'm also realistic and understanding that achieving a 100% toxin-free, wasteless environment while Maintaining my sanity is quite a challenge. So I encourage you not to be too hard on yourself. Make adjustments gradually as you can and don't let anyone make you feel guilty about your choices. It's all about finding a balance that works for you. Okay, it's time to refill my coffee water tank and just kind of set up this area of the countertop and then we will move on from cleaning and clearing the countertops. Are you keeping up with us on Instagram? Over there, we dive deeper into our daily life, share quick tips, and host live sessions every Monday for our Monday Meeting Live. If you haven't joined us yet, just click the link below or search at Home Family Management on Instagram to stay in the loop. Moving on to our next item on my kitchen's clothes checklist, and that is dishes. Clear and clean the sink and start the dishwasher. If this is getting you excited to start a kitchen's clothes routine of your own, but you don't know where to start, I recommend just having dishes done on your checklist. Years ago, when I first started this routine, I had one goal and one goal only, and that was to have a clear sink and all my dishes ready to go for the next day. Once you are in the habit of successfully clearing and cleaning your sink, and or starting your dishwasher every night, then add on. And if you still want your hand held through this process and the tracker that I personally use to make sure I'm successful in this habit, 
then check out the link below about my course on the Kitchen's Closed Challenge. Here are three quick tips to make dishes less daunting. One, incorporate resets throughout the day. Rinse the dishes or fill the dishwasher as you go all day so you don't leave all of the work for the end of the night. Two, listen to music or your favorite podcast so that way your mind is somewhere else. Or three is to practice mindfulness. So approach dishwashing with a mindful attitude and focus on the sensations, the warmth of the water, the rhythmic movements. Mindfulness can turn this routine task into more of a calming and even meditative experience. All right, dishes are done. So I'm just going to now fill the tank that goes with my nugget ice maker using the filtered water in my fridge. The last item on my kitchen's clothes checklist is floors. I am doing a full deep clean of my floors on this particular day because again we had cousins over for gingerbread house making on this day so as you can imagine the floors needed a good cleaning but I only have the word floors on my checklist for a reason and that's to show myself grace. I know that it is really unlikely that I get to vacuum sweep and steam off the floors every single night. So to be more realistic and show myself grace, as long as I somewhat touch the floors, meaning I either sweep, I vacuum, or I sweep, vacuum, and steam off, as long as something is done that's necessary for the floors to be more presentable, then I can mark off that I completed the floors for the night. Here at Home and Family Management, we take our jobs seriously. We prioritize growth in all areas of life. We get done what needs to be done, so that way we have the time and energy to focus on whatever it is that brings actual joy to us and ours. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know below if you have any questions or comments.
Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time with another home and family management system, habit, routine, tip, or tactic to help you run your home more simply and efficiently. Talk to you soon.